You were born with a superpower. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. You watching the video right now, you have a superpower. I'm not talking about invisibility or the ability to fly, even though that would be awesome. I'm talking about something different. The superpower I'm talking about is mind control. Now before you exit out of this video, let me explain what I'm trying to say, people. Psychologists proved a long time ago that your emotions don't know the difference between what's imaginary and what's real. Here's a quick example. This is the reason when my wife wakes up from a dream that I was cheating on her, she's actually mad at me. I didn't actually cheat on my wife, but just by thinking about it, so my wife pictured me cheating on her in her dream, she saw me cheating on her. When she wakes up, she's actually upset at me. She wants to punch me. The emotions are real, but the circumstances aren't. I never cheated on my wife. She just pictured that in her head. She created actual emotion by just picturing something in her mind. Here's another example. This one's a little heavy, but it always drives the point home. Think about the worst day of your life. Go ahead, picture the worst day of your life. I know that's something that nobody wants to do, but if you really think about the worst day of your life, where you were, what happened, how it all went down, if you think about that long enough, the emotions associated with that day will come back to you right now. Now that's not happening right now. It happened months ago, years ago, maybe even decades ago. But if you really think about that day, all those same emotions will come back to you. You create the emotions just by thinking about something. A lot of people are responsible for their own suffering because they choose to focus on something over and over and over again and they live in those emotions for the rest of their life. You choose how you feel by what you focus on. This is your superpower. This is mind control. Right now, how do you want to feel? Picture yourself at Disney World. Yay! I know this might seem oversimplistic, but the most successful people in the world, they know this and they use this to their advantage. There's this thing called visualization. The most successful athletes, Olympians in the world, they constantly visualize, but this isn't limited to just athletes. This works for anybody in any area. Before that athlete steps onto the field, steps onto the track, whatever they're doing, they picture themselves succeeding. They see it in their mind over and over and over again. You see, by visualizing themselves succeeding, they can develop the confidence that it takes to succeed. Trying something new is scary. Putting yourself out there is scary, but visualize yourself doing well and you can develop the confidence that it takes to get out there and do it. Before you do anything in life, you should visualize yourself doing that thing well. Picture it in your mind. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. It's got to happen up here before it happens in real life. People who don't have the ability to think big, Never really get anywhere and you can't just be a dreamer you can't just think big you have to put in work and you have to have a plan but it all starts with thinking big if you can't first think big you've got nowhere to go so don't hate on the dreamers be a dreamer the superpower that you and I were born with is mind control you have the ability to control the way you feel right now it's up to you decide visualize yourself succeeding that's it guys I'm done I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned something if you want to subscribe to the channel for more motivational videos like this one you can click right there right somewhere in this area there's like a little logo right here maybe click that click it click it subscribe